Mate, welcome to Wraith Rovers and welcome to Hercody. How are you enjoying it here so far? Yeah, thank you for your welcome. I'm really happy that I joined a club with such a big history. Uh, also, all things around the club, from the coaching to teammates, are really good. So, hopefully, I will get in the, into the system as soon as possible and I'm ready and I'm happy to start it. Uh, now, I hope I said your name correct. Uh, it's spelled Matej, but it's pronounced Mate, correct? Yes, correct. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, Mate, uh, firstly, um, tell me a bit about yourself. We know that you're from Slovenia, but tell me about the level of football you played at there uh, and the clubs you played at. So, yes, I'm Matej Platnik from Slovenia. Uh, in Slovenia, I played in uh, second and first division for football club uh, Enka Triglo. So basically, I scored a lot of goals for them, and after that, I moved to first of all to to Bulgaria. After that, I come back to to Triglav. I did well again and moved to to India. All right. Okay. Now, it's a very different culture from Scottish football in Slovenia and in India. Um, what were the main differences playing in India for Kerala Blasters? Oh. First of all, was like something new for me. I didn't know what can I expect, but I knew that if players like Dimitar Berbatov, Niklas Anelka, Diego Furlan, Del Piero, Roberto Carlos play there, should be like good. So, and I can confirm that that everything is on a really high level, uh, well organized. Uh, all like the life there is is really good. So, I really enjoyed that. Uh, but uh, the main problem there is because the uh, season is too short. It's just like for the four or five months and all other months you are free. Uh, so I missed football and that's why I decided to come back in Europe because season is longer here. Yeah. So yeah, you, you're from Europe, you made your name in Europe. Um, what, what are your strengths and abilities as a player do you think that, s that set you apart from other players from your country or Sc in Scotland? But for sure, I, I can say for myself that I will give like 100% on the training and on the games. I try to improve my myself every day, uh, every match. Uh, I'm I will be 29 the next week, so I'm not the youngest anymore. So I'm trying to improve also like trainings and also be professional out of the training. So I try to live as much as professional as I could. Also when I am at home, so. For sure, for me, they can expect that I will be professional, like 24/7. And would you say your main asset or your main strength is your hold-up play or your finishing or aerial in you know, with the header in the in the air? Well, from the my young age, I try to do with my left and right foot and also with head. So I would say that I'm quite good in the air and also with my let's say the 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 left and the right foot so maybe that's my strike off camera we were talking uh, earlier and you were saying that the first challenge when you first came to the UK on holiday uh, to London was the language but then when you moved to Livingston to Scotland a year and a bit ago there's another challenge the Scottish language how are you enjoying Scotland so far yeah, it was, was hard for me, like I said before, like first two to three months was hard because I didn't understood almost nothing. It's because of the accent, but uh, lucky me, I came to one beautiful country with very nice people, uh, which like support me from the my first day. So they were helping me, especially my teammates back in Livingston and my teammates now in Ray Rovers. So I can say that I'm happy uh, because of that. and. I will try to give them back on the field. Yeah. And and at Livingston, you you worked under a very highly rated coach, David Martindale. Um, what did he bring to your game, or what's he done for you and the way you play football? For sure, uh, he got me to the one point when I realized that I can be fitter and stronger uh, than I was been in in my past. Uh, so. I also improve like mentally there. It's really hard. So I am thankful to him to 
that he gave me a choice, uh, a chance to play in uh, in uh, UK in Scotland, and I think because of that I'm a better person and yeah. a player. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you know a little bit, a little bit about Wraith Rovers from last season in the cup. You came off the bench and you scored against us in your cup victory. Um, what has impressed you about Wraith Rovers from that point and now when you're playing for Wraith Rovers? For sure, I was impressed with the first half when when uh, I played for Livingston against Wraith Rovers. Uh, Wraith Rovers really played good football, like a lot of short passes, uh, n not long balls. So they impressed me with that, and uh, for sure, when I saw an option that I came here, I could come here, uh, I was happy, and I took, I, I, I grabbed a chance, and I'm happy to be part of Freight Rovers because that the style of football I liked, and hopefully I will do well here. I, and what have you heard about the management team here at Freight Rovers, John McGlynn and Paul Smith? They are good. Uh, I like them because they uh, they are good with me. They try to explain me and get me in the team as soon as possible so I like the way they coached and hopefully I will give them back with goals. Okay. And one last question then I'll let you get away on this uh, Friday afternoon. Um, in a season do you set yourself targets of goals or do you just take each game as it comes? Yeah of course I set also a goals like targets how much I would like to score but always I learned something that if I would like to score goals, I need first to do well with the team because if they will pass me a ball, I could score. So first of all, it's a team and then it's my goals personal. I would, I would like to score as much as I can every, every game if I can because this is my job. And But I will be quiet about how much I would like to score because, you know, how is it? Yeah. We ask this of every striker that comes to the club, so well answered. Thanks for that, Matty. Good luck for the future. Yeah, thank you.